The most popular version of the tale features a stunning young peasant woman named Maria who married a wealthy man. The couple lived happily for a time and had two children together before Maria's husband lost interest in her. One day while walking by the river with her two children, Maria caught sight of her husband riding by in his carriage accompanied by a pretty young woman. In a fit of rage, Maria flung her two children into the river and drowned them both. When her anger subsided and she realized what she had done, she succumbed to such profound grief that she spent the rest of her days wailing by the river in search of her children. In another version of the story, Maria cast herself into the river immediately after her children. In yet others, Maria was a vain woman who spent her nights reveling in town instead of tending to her children. After one drunken evening, she returned home to find them both drowned. She was cursed for her neglectfulness to search for them in her afterlife. The constants of the legend are always the dead children and a wailing woman, either as a human or ghost. La Llorona is often spotted in white crying for her children or, Ms. Ijo's, near running water. By some traditions, the ghost of La Llorona is feared. She is said to be vengeful and sees others' children to drown in place of her own. By other traditions, she is a warning and those who hear her wails will soon face death themselves. Sometimes she is seen as a disciplinary figure and appears to children who are unkind to their parents. If you like this video, subscribe our channel.